Hello, driving intelligence community. Have you gotten some new tires, new wheels, your diameter is different and your speedometer is off? Well, you can have some difficulty getting that recalibrated yourself if you're using a tuner, especially if you're using the manufacturer's recommend, recommended revolutions per mile or even a calculated diameter of the tire that you find on the internet. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I got mine dialed in exactly. Let's briefly talk about what's happening here. When you buy a new set of tires, especially if they're not your original equipment tires, they are going to be under a different set of conditions than the car was set up for at the, uh, at the automotive manufacturer's location. For example, oversized tires on an oversized wheel are going to have a different load characteristic, and therefore a different compression on the tire, and therefore creating a different, uh, a different radius. Some other things are air pressure, uh, could be wheel width, all, all these are going to have an impact on that and so it could be off quite significantly. I found on mine it was off up to 20 uh, revolutions per mile which definitely will, will impact your odometer and speedometer. The most critical measurement that you need to focus on is your odometer reading because that's what ties directly into the computer and what the computer uses for engine management. After using this method and correcting your odometer, if your speedometer is still off, that's a different issue I'm not covering in this video, but it could be as simple as pulling the needle off the speedometer and replacing it at the correct speed. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's talk about what you'll need to correct your odometer. You'll need a tape measure to measure the radius of your wheel tire combination, some type of programming device like an SCTX4 or a Superchips programmer, and they even have uh, devices that you can use simply just to correct your odometer. And then you also need a GPS application, probably on your phone, to measure your actual distance versus your odometer distance. Here's a list of steps that you can screenshot for future use. I'm going to do some video after this slide to show you in detail what you need to accomplish. So as I mentioned, you want to measure the diameter of the wheel. And you want to do it under load and with the tire fully inflated. In this case, I'm showing about 15 inches exactly to the center of that cap. Now, I'm measuring to the center of the cap because the weight of the vehicle is compressing that tire. And that gives you the true radius. And 2 times 15 is 30 inches, which is the true diameter. And that's what you want to use to measure the circumference of the wheel. Now that we have an accurate radius, we're going to use the calculation 2 pi r to calculate circumference. And putting 15 inches into that calculation gives us 94 inches of circumference, or 7.9 feet when you divide by 12. Now we're going to use 5,280 feet per mile to divide by 7.9 feet per rotation, and that's going to give us 668.35 rotations per mile. Most programmers only use a rounded number. So I'm going to round that up to 670 for input into the ECU programmer. Now that you've calculated revolutions per mile as a first step, what you're going to want to do is use your handheld programmer. That might be the SCTX4 that I'm using here or some other programmer you use to make adjustments to your ECU. I'm going to go into my programming steps and I'm going to select the tune I want, which is my 93 performance tune. And this is going to take me to various variables that I can adjust, and one of which is the tire revolutions per mile. And you can see here that I've put in 640 revs per mile because that was my final calculation. What you're going to do is put in whatever your calculated revolutions per mile are. After installing your tune, you're going to zero out your trip odometer and then pull out your GPS application go into functions, reset your counters, and set your distance to zero. Now you're going to drive anywhere from 10 to 20 miles. Then you're going to record the distance on your vehicle and the distance on your GPS app, compare those, and recalculate your revolutions per mile. At this point, it's a very simple calculation. It's just ratios. So if you went 10.1 miles in this example, and uh, you have your, your settings at 645 revolutions per mile, and your GPS calculated out exactly 10 miles, but you don't know what your revolutions were, 
you're just going to do the ratio that I've established here, 645 divided by the distance traveled at 645, as shown on your odometer, and your TBD over 10 miles that shows up on your GPS. And this turns out to be 638.6 in this example. Uh, given you need to round off, we're going to round this up to 640 revolutions per mile, and that's the final setting you want to put in your ECU. You're just going to go through the programming steps that I had indicated earlier with your handheld device. As I was editing this video, it, it occurred to me that one of the tuners I had, the Super Chips, actually accepted uh, the tire diameter, not rotations per mile. So you can use the same steps I used previously to save some of the calculations by just measuring from center cap to ground, putting that, uh, that two times that in as your diameter, and that should get you pretty close. And then you can use the GPS method to, uh, to get more accuracy in your odometer. If you like this video, please give me that thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Please subscribe. And uh, I apologize for some of the volume control on this. I'm uh, working on trying to upgrade my videos to get a better volume. Uh, so I'm going to order some, some equipment once I figure out what's the best to use with, uh, with the materials I already have. Again, thanks for watching.